What's up guys, c 13 here and today we're going to be unboxing the Perfect Prime IR0102 Android Thermal Camera. Alright guys, this is the Perfect Prime Thermal Camera, specifically model IR0102. Now this has a total of 1024 pixels. It's 32 by 32. That's the thermal resolution. Now that's pretty crunchy considering the uh, S61 I used to have, as you've seen all the videos I've done on my channel, that had a thermal resolution of 80 by 60. Now you do have to keep in mind the price. Now the list price for this thing is $129.99, so $130. I was able to snag this for $96 with a 25% off coupon. Now, at $96, this is a pretty compelling value, especially if you consider the prices of your average FLIR cameras are going to be almost $300 for your entry-level camera, and the resolution isn't going to be much better. In addition, this works with any Android phone with their app. Now, a lot of the reviews did mention, you know, the app not being good. So again, these are things that I'm going to have to test in the long run to give you my full take on this product. But for now, I'm just really interested to see what comes in the package and hopefully get to use this thing on different videos in the future. Because, you know, once you get a thermal camera, it's really hard to go back between you know, automotive diagnostic stuff when I'm wrenching on cars and looking around the house for temp leaks and, and all that sort of stuff. You know, having the S61 with the thermal camera, man, I mean, it's one of those things where you might think at first it's a gimmick and sure, after about two weeks, you don't use it as much. But man, when you pull it out of your pocket every week or so, when that one time you really need it comes up, oh man, it's an invaluable tool to have. So let's go ahead and see what comes in the package. There we go. So it just comes in a bag. The packaging super simple. Uh, this is the uh, manual download QR code. But I'm assuming it comes with some sort of manual in here as well. Yeah, here you go. Here are the instruction manuals right here. IR0102. There we go. Gives you the basics of operation, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to give you the specs real quick. So this thing has got a pretty impressive range, negative four Fahrenheit to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty good. Some of the cheaper hand scanner uh, thermal guns, thermal camera guns, those are only gonna read up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a much higher range. Also pretty good on the low end there. Your accuracy, it's gonna be plus or minus 3% or let's see, plus or minus three degrees Celsius or 5%. So, not the greatest accuracy. 3 degrees Celsius is a decently large range. And it gives you the resolution of, let's see, 0.1 degrees Fahrenheit. It can take pictures and videos. Let's see. Like I said here, the thermal resolution is 32 by 32, and the visible image resolution is 640 by 480. Your image format is going to be PNG. Your video format is going to be MP4. And, of course, your frame rate is going to be around 9 hertz. It's got a fixed focal length. And it tells you everything else. But that's pretty much it. Why don't we see the camera itself? Wow. There it is. So it comes with this. And wow, I you know what? I kind of feel stupid now because I I oh no no wait 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 a minute. No, that's micro USB to USB-C. Okay. I thought that was a USB extender, a USB-C extender. So because I got the Unicorn Beetle Pro case on my Note 9, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get this thing in there. So just in case this thing wasn't going to be deep enough, I actually have a separate extender that I got for that very purpose. But let me double check here. You know that... Nah, yeah, it's a little bit too short. So not a problem. So why don't I go ahead and download that app? And I'll come back when I've got that downloaded so I can show you this thing working. All right, guys. So I've got my phone here. I've got the camera with the adapter. And I got the app installed. So the app should automatically launch when you plug in the camera. So I plug in the camera. And the Perfect Prime app automatically launches. Now, within the app, there's a couple different options. Now, you can see this is full thermal view of the super crunchy 32 by 32 
If you tap this button again, you'll see this is an overlay of the visible light with the thermal camera. And then this just shows the visible light. And you can see you've got a temperature reading there. Now I have set it to Fahrenheit, but unfortunately it seems like the min and max in the corner still are set to Celsius. So that's something that they're gonna have to fix in software. Obviously you can take pictures. So if I go ahead and switch this over to the full thermal view, as you can see there, and then see, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of hard. I'm gonna try to get my hand in the shot and then uh, it's gonna be difficult to get a picture here. We'll hit that button. It'll snap a picture. This button allows me to record video. I'll hit allow. And now I'm recording a video. And then if I stop the recording, it's the same there. Now if we go into the settings, there aren't exactly a lot of settings. You can see there's face detection, temperature, uh, unit change. You can change your color palette settings. You have over temperature and under temperature alarms. So let's say you mount this up somewhere and you want it to monitor a certain spot. If it detects a temperature over a certain temperature or going under a certain temperature, it can give you an, a notification for that. So that's pretty cool, but there's not a whole lot of other customization. So you know what, that's pretty much it. I'm obviously gonna have to get the hang of this thing a little bit more. Uh, off the bat, I will say this thing is pretty crunchy, but again, I didn't expect a whole lot considering the resolution is only 32 by 32. So. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, comments, or your own experience with the Perfect Prime IR0102, be sure to leave that below because I want to know. And if you want to see my review and any future videos on this thing, be sure to get subscribed.